Senator for Vancouver Point Grey. Honourable Speaker, Hootsuite is a social media platform used by more than 10 million people around the world, hundreds of the top 1,000 companies on the planet. They employ more than 300 people in Metro Vancouver alone. These high-paying jobs and thousands of jobs at firms just like them in Metro Vancouver are critical to the economic future of the region. So when the CEO of Hootsuite says in an op-ed, quote, it's difficult to grow my business because qualified job candidates are deterred from moving to the city and great employees are leaving because they can't afford to build a life here, unquote, we should listen carefully. It's not like these firms don't have options elsewhere. My question is for the Minister of Technology. Does he agree with Mr. Holmes that a failure to take real action on affordable housing will critically undermine the tech sector in Metro Vancouver? Responsible for housing. Member. In about three hours and five minutes, you're going to have some of your answers, but also on Friday, the Premier announced the largest single investment in BC history in affordable housing of $355 million. Right away, the member was opposed to it, but he doesn't also understand a number of things, Honourable Speaker. That if you get land from municipalities, forgiveness on DCCs, if you go out and you partner up with the federal government and the private sector, you could easily turn that into $1.5 billion in an investment in housing in British Columbia, which will help with the affordability, bring more product to the market, enhance the programs we have in the most successful housing strategy in BC history, and we're proud of that, Honourable Speaker. The member for Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Honorable Speaker, this minister is setting records. A record number of tent cities across the province, including just up the street at the courthouse. A record, record high housing prices in an out of control real estate in Metro Vancouver. A record number of young people leaving Metro Vancouver because they can't afford to raise members, their families there. They're setting members, records, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Member, the chair will have the answer and the question. Please and, proceed. And you heard from the minister the real reason why they're ignoring this housing crisis. They simply do not care. Yesterday, the member. Get off your high horse. Yesterday, the member for Chilliwack Hope. Yesterday, the member for Chilliwack Hope shrugged at Mr. Holmes' concern and the concerns of everyone watching the out-of-control real estate market in Metro Vancouver. He said companies that locate in high-cost areas like Metro deserve what they get. Quote, the market has a solution for a company that wants to place its company in the most expensive real estate in the province. The market will punish that business by making it more and more difficult to find workers. So companies are going to move to locations that will accommodate their employees, and it won't take a government program to do that. Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker. The members will come to order. Speaker, I don't know why I'm asking the question because it's clear where the government stands on this. They're applauding that. But does the Minister of Technology agree with the member for Chilliwack Hope that firms that locate in Metro Vancouver should be punished by the market and should look at lower cost? He his quote. He said it. This is his quote. And should look at lower cost jurisdictions like Montreal, like Toronto, like Seattle, Question. or Portland if they're having trouble recruiting employees because of high housing costs. Minister responsible for housing. Well, thank you.
Thanks, Honorable Speaker. And I did listen to the member's comments on Friday about another announcement where he was poo pooing an opportunity for the Burrard, the Slaylatooth, and the Squamish to actually have economic development and bit affordable housing right in the middle of the members' riding because what? they had the opportunity to buy the Jericho lands on behalf of their community. Jobs, opportunities that can include affordable housing. It'll be part of the zoning that goes on with the city. And the member doesn't have a clue about zoning because he obviously doesn't understand from his comments there's actually public hearings and discussion about development on large tracts of land in cities across the province of British Columbia. I know you're opposed to everything we do. I know you don't like the fact that there's over 10,000 families receiving rent assistance, of which hundreds are getting that in the city of Vancouver, actually 2,000 getting it in the city of Vancouver, 2,000 households receiving rent assistance, 2,600 seniors households getting affordable rental assistance in the city of Vancouver, 25,000 units supported by government to the tune of $140-some million a year just in the city of Vancouver.